Hello there, this is Mubanga and I welcome you to this tutorial where I will talk about the overview of Microweka dashboard. Please be attentive so that you do not miss any part as every part is very important. So let's begin. First things first, each time you log in into the Microweka's um, plat uh, platform, this is the first screen that you will be able to see and there are several features that I will walk you through in this tutorial. The first one that I'll talk about is a tab called Jobs. The red one here, the one that is already highlighted in red. So, this is where you will find all the jobs that are listed, that are ready to be, to be worked. And these jobs are grouped into categories which are these categories and the names so the first tab under these categories is uh, all the jobs and these are the all the jobs that are listed also we have this tab called qualification the other one testing mobile applications surveys we have signing up we have jobs to do with uh, click and search we have transcription also data collection and so on and so forth so when you want to work uh, certain tasks in particular in these particular groups you simply click on any of these um, job categories and you have access to those uh, tasks after this jobs tab we have what is called uh, the hg jobs um, this is sh uh, short for higher group jobs. Now, under the higher group jobs, this is the tab where you will find specific jobs that a certain employer has hired you to do. This is quite different from this, the, the old jobs. Remember, under the old jobs, we talked about all the available jobs at that particular time. Now, the higher group jobs contains the jobs that this employer, this certain employer feels you as a worker uh, is qualified to handle those jobs. After this uh, tab, the next one we have is called the tasks I have completed. Now, this shows the tasks that you have completed and these tasks are grouped into two. In other words, the subsets of these contains basic tasks these are the tasks that have been completed besides the basic tasks we also have tasks under the higher group these are the tasks that were completed in this case under the higher group next to this tab we have this one which is called my campaigns now for this one this is aligned mainly to the employers so as workers we are not into using this platform also the same applies to the deposit tab also this is the tab that is used by the employer to deposit funds that are attached to a specific task next to the deposit we have the withdrawal the withdrawal tab now this is the tab that we use as uh, workers to withdraw the funds after we have accumulated so much upon completion of certain tasks this is where we place a request for withdrawal for example this is the link that will lead us to um, us in order to have the funds withdrawn as we can see here there are several payment methods we have the PayPal which has the minimum of nine dollars for you to 
to, 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 to access the funds you have needs to have a minimum of nine dollars and the maximum you can do is fourteen dollars in this case the processing fee is 7.5 percent also we have another platform called Skrill we also have Payoneer and we also have the AirTM so these are the payment platforms that are available under under the micro worker apart from the withdrawal tab the next tab that we have is called the accounts now the, ac the accounts tab this is where you can view your micro worker account details and it is from here you can edit some of the information you would want to edit for example this is where you can change your email address this is where you can change your password and also this is where you can also reset the, the verified phone number apart from the accounts tab we also have these other tabs uh, somewhere up here let me start with the success rate this one so the success rate this is where you need to check your success rate as you can see here my success rate is at uh, 96 percent and also the temporary success rate is at uh, 86 percent so the required temporal success rate actually is 75 percent meaning that you only have to accept and complete tasks that you know or you are sure of completing correctly otherwise in most cases the success rate gets reduced and once it reaches 74 percent or below then you won't be able to process records not until when the success rate improves that is after all the jobs like in this case the not satisfied jobs are removed from the system that is when the success rate will increase thereafter you will continue processing after the success rate tab we also have the reputation tab the reputation tab is simply a summary of your performance in all the job categories for example we have the the general uh, reputation in this case 180 have been satisf uh, satisfied and only nine are not satisfied we have the qualification where i just did one and it was a satisfactory one just like that as you can see all the job categories are listed under the reputation so for you to have a good reputation means you need to be good in all the job categories and remember your success rate should be above 75 percent apart from the reputation tab we also have this support tab now under the support tab this is where you get information on the frequently asked questions concerning micro worker let's have a look at some of the frequently asked questions under the micro worker so in this case all the information that you need to know about micro workers is actually listed here for example it highlights what micro workers is who the employers are who the workers are what can be done to a worker and the employer at the same time who a worker is, who an employer is, and so on and so forth. All the information that you'd ever want to know about micro worker is actually provided here. All the information concerning the payment, all the information concerning the success rate, how you can maintain the success rate, what you need to avoid so that you maintain the high success rate, everything is listed here. Also, how you supposed to get the payment that is uh, you need to obtain a micro workers uh, pin before you can uh, 
access your payment all that information is actually um, um, listed here all right this is in a nutshell this is um, all about the micro workers uh, dashboard so just in case you have found this tutorial helpful kindly click on the subscription button below and the notification bell so that each time I release tutorials of this kind you get notified and you should be the first person to get the next video and enjoy it that's it and good luck